Hey guys, Fix It John here. Today we're going to be putting in a uh, gable, man, uh, gable mount attic exhaust fan, and it's a uh, fan from uh, made by uh, made from Braun, made in USA. I saw a lot of good reviews on it, so I hope it works uh, works pretty decently. Uh, there's a lot of things I need to do. I need to make some bracing. Uh, a lot of times you don't need to do bracing in a uh, attic. Uh, the two by twos are already there, but in this particular instance, uh, the uh, attic vent, the gable vent, is wider than the fan. Uh, we lived in another house where the gable uh, vent was a little smaller, and I just uh, bolted the adjusting bracket brackets right onto the two by fours. All right, here's my uh, exhaust fan. This one here is a 15 inch diameter galvanized steel housing and that's this spot right here and I think it has a 14 inch fan. It's supposed to do uh, take care of 2100 square feet. Uh, our roof is bigger than that, is larger than that, but uh, it, it has plenty of ventilation. This is to get the hot stuff out. So let's take a look at it. What you get is uh, these adjusting brackets here. Directions. And then your, your fan right here. This is the front of it. This is the back. I did see a sticker on this motor that said uh, made in America. So it's got to be, uh, it has to be a pretty decent motor. Braun Newtone, made in the USA. So I, I read a lot of good reviews on it. Uh, hopefully it'll work good. So when you hook this up, you want to hook the, uh, you want to make sure the breaker's off. You want to hook black to the hot wire, white to the neutral, and this uncoated unco uh, uh, copper wire to the ground and the ground goes to that little green screw right there can you see that right there and what that does is if uh, let's say for instance this cable connector uh, bushing here wasn't there and it wears a hole in it It'll short out on this metal, but uh, and if somebody comes along and then touches this box, touches this fan shroud, they'll get electrocuted. But what happens is with the ground, uh, the ground will uh, take that power back to ground, just as it says. It takes it right back through the ground into the earth, uh, which comes through the box. Now the white, the white wire. Let me explain that one. The power comes out and provides power to the fan with the black wire. And, w and any unused power that the fan doesn't use, it's looped back into the white neutral wire, which then comes back to the, to the box, to the transformer, and then shot back out again. So black is your power, white is your neutral, the bare copper is your ground. This is thermostatically operated. You can also wire around the thermostat if you'd like. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to wire it with the thermostat. So uh, when it gets hot in the attic, it'll kick on. And the wire that runs through the house is a 14 gauge and it's two. 14 two. And I'm going to tap into a uh, existing junction box that's up there. I'm not gonna run a whole new line because uh, it has plenty of power. Oh, one more thing. I got these online, these uh, nail staples, cable, cable wood insulated staples. And what you use these for is uh, to nail your, uh, and this is code. You want to put that over your uh, cable and smack that into a stud. That way it's not flopping around. That has to be done to be code. All right, guys, we've got to cut some framing out here. We need our plywood 33 inches, 33 inches length. That's 16 and a half inches. That would be centered. 24 and a half, so 12 and a quarter. So we want to line our uh, fan up at the center spot. All right, we got it. We got it centered up here, good enough, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'll draw a ring around it here. 
There we go. That's what we're cutting out there, guys. And I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys. What I got here is a uh, paddle bit and uh, a jigsaw sitting down there. And I'm using this so I can start the jigsaw. Hey guys, fix it John here. I'm going to uh, put this center cut out back in here because if I mount it like that, I have uh, uh, bolt holes here already lined up and if I mount it in like that, they're not going to line up. I don't want to drill anything. I don't have to. So now I want to orient it to where uh, the wire is probably going to come this way. And before you uh, tack it down, make sure your blade turns around without hitting anything. Uh, the other the other fan I bought was uh, a little flimsier, the one that the motor didn't work. And if you set it up like that, the metal sort of flexed on it and the blade hit it. So that's not good. This one here is a little sturdier, brawn. It'll work good. So I want to I wanna center it up, but I don't want to get it right up against the uh, edge of the wood where it could possibly rub against. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about it is this uh, thermostat work, but some of them, uh, they come with a conduit and uh, the electric already uh, plumbed in it, and you would fasten it on the, uh, the framing of the uh, rafters. But this one here, it comes framed inside the fan housing, so the fan shroud, so is it going to read an accurate temperature with the air coming through it? I doubt it, but uh, like I said, I read some good reviews on it. And I'm what I'm going to do here, guys, is uh, install these adjustable mounting brackets. And, and if you have a different situation, you can set them like that, too, and drill them. All right, guys, I found a couple more brackets here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use these just to add another bracket. I noticed some guys, they, uh, they closed up the whole gable vent. I'm not going to do that. All right, guys, one more thing I got down at the hardware store was some uh, rubber washers. And I got those so I can uh, isolate the fan from the wood. I'm going to drill some holes, guys. Because I want the bolt closer to the edge there. There's some wood up here that I'm probably going to cut off because uh, a lot of guys just closed in the gable, but I don't want to do that because uh, I want air air to flow when, uh, when the fan's not running. Because if you don't get air flowing, you get moisture in your attic and things start to rot and mold. I feel a lot better since I've got this uh, wire connector because I know for sure it would, uh, I don't know why they don't supply you with one, but they don't, so just 
so you know you have to buy one. Tighten this sucker down here. And this is code anytime you put uh, wire to a junction box. Should have cable connectors. Voila! Yeah, that would have been a pain in the butt getting that attached up there in the attic. Okay, we want to go uh, black on black. So remember, the black is the hot wire, and the white is the uh, neutral wire. Neutral wire. Power can run through that wire, but it's uh, called the neutral ground wire. The uninsulated one is uh, ground to earth, so. Okay, what I like to do after I put a uh, wire nut on it, I like to throw some black tape on there. That way it doesn't back off. Guys, fix it. Hey guys, fix it. John here. We're up in the attic. Uh, gonna put a gable uh, exhaust vent up here in the attic to blow all the hot air out this way. And uh, I need to build a uh, form up around here so I can attach the uh, the exhaust fan. And like I said before, uh, sometimes the boards come out to here. Or your exhaust, your uh, gable vents flush with this, and you can just attach it right here to the board. A little bit, and that's how far it's going to sit away from the uh, vent. Because I don't want it riding on this little, uh, looks like a one by two, not even that. The reason why I'm doing this is because it gets hot at this end of the house in the uh, summertime. And it's hard to keep the bedroom cool. This exhaust fan will help. Uh... Help suck the uh, hot air out. Let's see if we can get this in there. Cause it's got a it's got a uh, a hang over here lip probably about uh, a quarter of an inch in some places and I don't want to put any pressure on that. That's why I want to go over it with another board and just. I get that high because that's where the heat is. The cable. I'm going to nail it up here so it doesn't get cut on this uh, fan shroud. I want to keep it up out of the way so people aren't walking on it.
want to keep it keep away from any nails that can come in and pierce it from the uh, roof. So that's why I was keeping it on the underside here. This is where we're at, guys. Ran it from that stud underneath here. Going around the back side of it. And right up through here. Coming up here. Right up here, we want to throw another staple on here. Let's, uh, before I do that, let's take this junction box apart. See, I got some uh, bushings. I don't even know if I need these bushings. They're for stuff like that. The other side didn't have any uh, bushing or anything on it. And I couldn't get a cable clamp to fit, so that's what I'm gonna go with right there, that bushing. All right, guys, we've got uh, 14 gauge coming in and 14 gauge going out. I'm not gonna pigtail it. The only thing I'm gonna pigtail is the ground, ground wire. See where I took the three uh, ground wires? One coming from the light fixture, which is the pigtail, and the two incoming and outgoing uh, grounds. So, And I didn't pigtail the uh, the hot wire and the uh, neutral ground wire. The neutral ground is the white one because I just thought it'd be uh, such a mess up under there. But uh, there you have it. That's how I did it. about 95 there almost 100 so there you have it guys attic exhaust fan <laughs> 